Hey guys, Richard of Fish and Auto Channel and Reefs.com. I am coming to you live from Plant City, Florida to my buddy's place at ACI Aquaculture. I am here today because they are doing something with their coral farm that I didn't think that they would ever do. They recently changed all their lights, well, majority of their lights, into Philips Coral Care version 2. And I'm inter interested to see what have come from it and how Chris likes it. Check it out. Hello everybody, my name is Chris Meckley from ACI Aquaculture and we're here today with Richard from Aficionado Channel to talk about the Philips Coral Care Light that is, has been around for a decent amount of time in Europe and I heard about them a few years ago, was told some really good things, was, saw some really good things with it, when it comes to fragments growing out and I had to have them so when Coral View brought them into the market I, of course, had uh, a dozen of them shipped to me and then another dozen of them shipped to me. And we're here today to talk about what we've found so far with the lights, give you a basic uh, feedback on uh, what we think of them. I've tried a couple of different LEDs on the market. I mean, there's a lot of really good LEDs out there. There's a lot of hobbyists that swear by, you know, all these different types of LEDs. But for us as coral farmers and being in an open air environment, we've tried a handful of them and they are not meant to be in the environment that we have so they've in most cases failed. The one brand that we did that we still continue to use has been working great for us um, and we're extremely happy with that light but I'm always trying to improve and, and get something different um, and newer technologies in here and with the Coral Care the first generation was a little bit larger a little bit more watts but it was only 220 because it was not meant for the US market in our 110 volt system that we use over here. So they have in turn developed the Gen 2s for not for us alone, but it allowed them to be able to make the light a little bit more sleek, smaller in size, as well as the heat sink was a little, is, is a little bit smaller. So it's really not the most aesthetically pleasing light on the market, but the proof is in the technology that is the Coral Care LED light fixture. We've noticed such a huge difference in the fact that we're able to take photographs without having any adjustments to the, the, the light itself or actually minimal adjustments to the, to the photographs that we take and not having hot spots of blue or white in the photographs. That was one of our biggest problems with the previous light that we were using and we use them still that light we still use on our LPS cores, they do an amazing job, but for our Acroporas, we didn't have photos of them up for probably over a year. And now we're starting to take photos and put our what you see is what you get corals up again for Acros and people are really enjoying it because the corals do look amazing. The biggest thing that we noticed different when we started using the Coral Cares, and again, well, this is only four months that we've been using these lights. We have them up over our main import Acro system and I tell you what, uh, there's eight lights up over a four by eight tank. And the reason we went so with so many was because we were degrading the intensity of the lighting, but really didn't realize that we were actually improving the spectrum of the lighting to the point where not as much intensity, it really doesn't matter if the light is blended better. And that was the other thing that really intrigued me about the Coral Care fixtures was Philips and their technology because they were pretty much the founders, uh, the beginning developing stages of the um, LED. And they have a lot of technology that all other LED companies have to basically give them royalties for using their technology. With the diffusers that Philips has developed, blends that light so well before it actually leaves the diffuser that it comes out as a more full spectrum versus a hot spots of light for each individual diode. And I don't care what anybody says, the sun doesn't change. And if you don't have a good full spectrum blended light and you've got hot spots here and hot spots there, are they gonna grow the way they should grow? Are they as happy as they should be? Not all light is created equal. And Philips, I think, has really addressed this issue with LEDs better than anybody else from what I have seen. Again, since I've gotten these lights, there's new generations of some of the other lights that are on the market. I hear good things about them, haven't personally seen them, and actually 
with my environment, I couldn't even use those lights anyhow, so I'm gonna stick with the Coral Cares because we are getting some really good results so far, and I hope that they can continue because it doesn't matter what coral we put underneath them, they all improve and just seem to really just glow and explode with polyp extension under these lights. Now, I've noticed very good improvements on the actual intensity of the color of the acros that are in our systems right now. Back to the light fixtures themselves, they don't have any fans in them, so there's less moving parts. The lights are in the same range in price as I think some of the other higher end LEDs that are on the market. Um, but not having those moving parts is a bonus because less moving parts means less things to go wrong. As long as the heat sinks are doing their job and keeping the diodes cool, you shouldn't have any issues. And if, if I remember correctly, they look very similar to just a plain old street lamp that you would see out in the, you know, uh, being used uh, to light up the roads at nighttime, which you can see them all over the place. They're, like I said, they're not an aesthetically pleasing look, look to them, but in my opinion, who cares if the light does what it does that we're seeing, it shouldn't matter. Um, the proof is in the, in the results that you get from the light itself and we're extremely happy with what we see so far. Hey Chris. How you doing Richard? All right, what we got? Well, I never was much of a PAR guy, but I do have the aperture PAR meter here, you know, and I always like to test kind of where we are, especially if I change lights and do something different. Yeah. You know, just to get an idea of what I'm going to expect. And um, it was really kind of mind blowing from the previous lights that we used and switching to the Coral Cares and the differences that we saw. We had a higher power level than our other lights and um, of course it looked amazing. Um, but with the Coral Cares, we switched them out. I was like, whoa, look at the power drop. But I don't think it's necessarily as um, much of a big deal as what people think. I think it's a matter of the blend of the light and these Coral Cares, they do an amazing job with that. So we got um, a power level outside directly underneath at a, what is it, 1400 go all the way up or at 19, 2000. Yeah. And we go all the way down here, right at the surface of the water. We're at 450. Uh, yeah, drop it, yeah. And like you that. go down underneath just a tiny bit, we're at 370. Now that was what the old lights that I had up were giving yeah. me on the course. Yeah. And when we switched them out, I was worried that we were gonna have issues. And here we are right on the corals and we're at 277. That's yeah. about, but two feet to the water and about 15 inches to the coral. So um, the coral cares, and we're not directly underneath. Now we go directly underneath of the of the coral care here, and well, it kind of changed a little bit. Yeah. Um, in between, it seems like a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, what I really like about these lights is, you know, it's funny when when people see them, they're a lot of white. Very, very white, but there's two channels to these lights, yeah. which I like for simplicity. 100% um, blue is what we run and 100% white. And um, I'll be honest with you, every single coral we've added to this system with these coral cares at this 100% intensity, which is, I think, reef crest mode, mm -hmm. um, we've had some pretty amazing results, especially with uh, um, Australian Lobophilias and Australian Acam Pachyceptus. Uh, we were having somewhat of an issue with uh, just straight ATI Blue Plus T5s, and the Coral Cares have really made them um, pop and shine and some color we lost in some of the corals because of the intensity and I guess the, the blend and full spectrum of the light has been extremely um, good for the corals and we've noticed positive responses from them. Um, still gonna go with my old school methods, but I'm really, really liking these. They've only been up for three months, but I have nothing but good things to say about them so far. I'm glad that we were able to get them in from, uh, from Coral View. I'm glad they got them in. Um, it took a little, long, a little time because it all happened when COVID hit, but they're here. And I think we're gonna probably do even more of them here in our, in our facility because they do give a very good spectrum and we do have a bunch of different modes we can use and we can even customize what we want our, our, our corals to be under. All blues or um, the reef crest mode that we're using right now, which is mainly for the acros, but um, liking what we see in. Very good, okay. very good light so far. Once again, my name is Chris Meckley from ACI Aquaculture, and I hope that this was helpful with you making a decision with an, another option for LED fixture for your aquarium. Again, there's bunches of them out there. What we've found as coral farmers, they seem to be um, a different animal 
than everything else because of the technologies that Philips has that everybody ends up having to pay royalties for. I'm not saying anything's bad about anybody, any of the other lights, but for our application, it was a very simple design with less moving parts. And if that's what you're looking for, this is a great light for you. Again, I'm Chris Meckley from ACI. I hope you enjoyed and got something out of this video. I'm out.